So the big question is, what are you trying to accomplish right now? Yes, you. How are you showing up for those around you? Would you like to become a better mom, a better wife, a better sister, a better friend? Wherever you are on your journey right now, there is always room for improvement. I recently learned that we should be lifelong learners. We should always be listening to something, reading something, or learning something new. So, where are you right now and how can I help? Hopefully this channel will help you find some answers. My name is Tamaya and welcome to Maya's Minute. So today during my devotional, I read a question that I thought um, I thought was very interesting, so I decided that I would like to share it with you all. So the question is, in times of an ordeal, are you more likely to ask for help of someone else or try and face the problem alone? Again, in times of ordeal, are you more likely to ask for help or face the problem alone? That got me to thinking because I am, by nature, I am naturally, I am an introvert. So um, I don't mind being by myself, working by myself, and like doing things on my own. I think it's it's just in my nature. I just, i rather just maybe try and figure it out on my own. Or maybe it's me being prideful and not wanting to ask for help. But... But yeah, I'd rather just try to figure things out most of the time on my own and and like not ask for help. Like I remember there have even been times where my husband will come and say, Tamaya, you know, it's okay. It's okay if you ask me for help. And um, there's even been times where he'll come like without me asking. He'll see me struggling with something or see me trying to figure something out. And he'll come and say hey let me help you or he'll come and say you know why don't you try this or try to do it this way and sometimes I find myself maybe even this is me confessing I find myself like maybe even getting aggravated or getting an attitude within myself and it's like I have to stop and say to Maya like what are you getting mad about like what do you have an attitude for like he's trying to help you but Maybe that's, again, maybe that's me being prideful or maybe me feeling like, you know, let's just do it my way. Like, I don't want any help. But um, he has this little thing that he'll say sometimes, like, 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 oh, um, like, like, oh, y'all women, y'all don't, y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all nothing. Because he feels like, you know, women, like, we don't want to hear from anybody. We want to just, we want to just do our own thing. And... <sighs> In times like that, when he's trying to help and like I don't even maybe like want to receive the help, it's like I stop. I'm stopping and thinking about it now, and I'm like, hmm, is he right? <laughs> is there some truth to what he's saying? But nevertheless, um, yeah. Back to the question. The question is, what about you? Would you be willing to, are you willing to ask for help or would you, would you rather just try and um, face the problem alone? Now, I know that it's a trick of the enemy to keep you wanting to be by yourself or not wanting to be around others, not wanting to ask for help, like being alone, being in isolation. Those are tricks of the enemy because God didn't create us to to be alone like he created us for he created us for fellowship. So if there's something that that you are going through a problem that you are facing, you don't know what to do, you know, you don't necessarily know how to handle it, like reach out, ask someone for help. It could be your spouse, it could be a parent, a family member, it could be a close friend, it could be a mentor, whoever it is that you feel comfortable um confiding in. Or talking to like ask for help like um, I'm sure they'd be willing to help you and it could even be something that someone that they've already been through like there's nothing new under the Sun like someone has been through whatever it is that you're going through someone has been there and more than likely they've been through it before so reach out and and um, ask someone for help 
Like, don't be, don't be ashamed. Like, don't be so proud or don't be so, so, yeah, like, worried about ruining your image or worrying about what someone is going to think about you. And I'm, I'm talking to Tamaya too, because nothing that I give you, it doesn't, it hits me first. So don't be, don't be proud to the point where, oh, I'm, I'm struggling with something or I got a problem, but. I don't want to ask for help because I'm worried about how, how the person's going to look at me or the person's going to think about me. It's like, do you, would you rather like be proud and be stuck or be hurting and going through something? Or would you rather humble yourself and be vulnerable for a moment and, and, and get some help? Like let some, let, let people or, you know, that person come around and, um, and, and give you some advice and encourage you and help get, get you through the, the situation or whatever it is that you're going through. And, um, God resists the proud. So it's like, do you want, do you want him to resist you or do you want to draw close? You want him to draw, you know, to, you want to be feel closer and more in relationship with him. Um, it, it takes humility. Like we all at some point have to recognize like we can't do life alone. We definitely can't do life without him. And we you have to come to a point where you realize like you can't do life like without him. Like you got to recognize your, your need, your need for him, first of all. But outside of your need for him, like on this, we are physical beings. So like we need other people physical beings like we need we need people we need help from others so I just wanted to to encourage you today that if you are that person like me sometimes who who does not like to ask for help free yourself from those thoughts whatever the thoughts are that are keeping you where you are that are keeping you from reaching out for help um Try to push those thoughts aside and think about think about um, the fact that you need to be free. You need to you need to you need help to get through whatever the the situation is. So reach out and ask for help. There are people around you who love you, who care about you, and someone can help you get through that situation. All right. So be encouraged on today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.